what's up everyone and welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how we can use python to upload and download files from our s3 buckets so what we'll be doing in this video is we'll first create a user on aws and then create a bucket create a policy and add it to the user and then i'll download the aws cli to set up the user and then we'll use the python programming language to upload and download files to s3 bucket so if this sounds interesting to you let's do this step by step so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create an account on aws i have already created that and then you need to go to the aws console and search for users because we'll be creating a user first so right here you can see this users thing click on it and in here what we need to do is as you can see right here i already have one user but i want to create a new user so i'll click on add users so right here first we need to add a name to our user so let's say test user and you need to check this access key dash programmatic access so i'll click on next I'll again click on next because I don't want to add this user to any group right now and I don't want to add any tags so I'll click next and I'll click on create user and AWS redirects me to this page and right here you can see I have an access key ID and secret access key I'll download this as a CSV file this information will download this as a CSV file so let's say credentials credentials as a file name save it on my desktop click save so now the credentials have been saved and the user has been created so if i close it you can see the test user is now being listed out in my user section so now what we need to do is we need to create a bucket and the process is same search for s3 you can see in the services we have this s3 click here and here are some of my buckets i have this one test bucket but let's just create new bucket for those who don't know how to create a bucket let's name it code bear aws and i'll scroll down and click on create bucket and the bucket has been created if you don't know what a bucket is a bucket basically allows us to store objects and an object can be any file it can be an image it can be a text file it can be anything so let me just show you first how we can manually uh, upload files to our bucket so if i go back you can see this is the bucket that we created so if i click on it now here I can upload a file, I can create a folder, I can do lots of things here. So let's first create a folder, let's name it test and I'll scroll down and click on create folder. So now a folder has been created inside our bucket. Now I can click on this folder and upload a file inside this folder as well. So I can click here on add files. Let's add any file from here. Uh, I'm going to select this image and click open. So now I click here on upload and the file has been successfully uploaded. You can see this green toast up here. So now let's click on close and you can see the file is being listed out here. So what we have done is we have created a bucket and inside that bucket we created a folder and inside the folder we uploaded a file we can also upload a file here as well so this is how the s3 buckets work so now that you know what an object is what we need to do is we need to create a policy and a policy is like a setting and it controls what aspect of the object you can use so let's again go to the search bar and search for policies you can see we have this policies option here i'll click on it and in here i'll click on create a policy and i'll click on this json and in here let's get rid of this and paste this thing you can find this thing in the description of this video so what we are looking at here are actually rules down here in the resources what you can do is you need to get rid of this and enter the name of your bucket in my case it was code bear dash aws just like this and i'll do the same here as well so code bear dash aws so if you want to learn more about how this thing works how these policies work that is a topic for another video uh, because it's a very broad topic so we are not going to discuss uh, the policies in detail here also you can see here in the actions we are specifying s3 then colon then star so this star specifies that we are allowing all the actions for this policy so 
then I'll click on next click on next and what I'll do now is I'll give it a name let's name it test policy okay and I'm not going to add any description and I'll click on create policy now I'm going back to the users tab and we had created this test user earlier so I'll select this and in here I'm going to add a permission and what I'll do is I'll click on attach policies directly and in here let's search for test policy so here is the policy that we created so I'll select it and click on next and click on add permissions so now the policy that we just created has been added to our test user so next step would be downloading and installing the aws cli open a new tab and search for download aws cli and click on this link so i'll click windows here because i'm on windows and i'll click here and it will download the file I have already downloaded it and installed it so you need to do the same it's a simple installation process so download the file and install it <clears throat> and then what we need to do is remember that we downloaded that credential csv file we need to open that up here are my credentials and what we need to do is we need to open the command line and type in aws configure so this will configure a user for us so the first thing that we need here is the access key id so let's go here and copy the access key id so this is the access key id i'll paste it down there hit enter now we need the secret access key so this thing right here is the secret access key so i'll copy it and paste it down here now you can also specify the default region i'm going to leave that blank and i'm going to leave this output format as output format blank as well so now we have successfully configured a user in aws cli so now comes the exciting part now we are going to use python to upload and download files to our bucket so let's open visual studio code in here we first need to install a package called bottle 3 so i'll go i'll open up the terminal and i'll type in pip install boto3 and hit enter so this library will help us to connect with aws services so in this file what we need to do is we first need to import the boto so i'll say import boto3 and then we need to define the resource of aws that we want to use in our case we want to use s3 so i'll say s3 equals to boto3 dot resource and it will take one argument that will be the type of resource which is s3 in our case and then we can select the bucket so i can say bucket equals to s3 dot bucket and it also takes one parameter that's the name of our bucket which in my case is code bear dash aws just like this and finally we need to upload a file so this bucket object has a method called upload underscore file so we are going to use that method to upload a file to our uh, s3 bucket so what we can do is we can say bucket dot upload underscore file and it takes two arguments the first one is key the key is the name of the file that will appear on our aws bucket so let's say test dot csv and the second argument will be the file name file name is the name of the file or the path of the file which is on your computer so in my case i want to use this test or csv file so i'm going to mention the path so i'm going to mention the path to this file so i'll say dot dash test dot csv so if i run this file You can see it ran successfully and if i go to uh, my aws console again here are my buckets if i click on this bucket you can see now we have a file named test.csv so if we upload so if we change the key now to test2.csv and upload the file 
you can see it ran successfully and if we refresh our bucket you can see now we have test.csv and test2.csv and if you want to download a file in that case change this to download file and and it also takes two arguments the first one is the name of the file on the s3 and the second one is the file name which is the name of the file that you are going to store on your local machine so i want to store this file in this path so if i let's change this to test 3 and if i run it you can see we now have a file name test3.csv so this is pretty much it this is how you can download and upload files to s3 via python i hope you learned something new from this video give this video a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one till then Peace out.